Hi, my name is Fawn Volkert, founder and executive director of Papillon Libre, a nonprofit organization designed to stop the cycle of secrecy surrounding childhood molestation. We're gearing up to launch new programs starting 2012, and they are designed to help adult victims of childhood molestation move from surviving to thriving. And it's important for adult victims to uh, seek a camaraderie in this, in this healing process. And the reason for that is because we're going up against the way that our brains were trained to think. And in pondering that idea today, I had two analogies come to mind. And I want to talk about both of them, but there's just never enough time to. So I'm going to pick one the one I'm feeling compelled to speak about today, and then on another day I'll discuss the other. So today's analogy is, um, is a puzzle, okay? So imagine uh, a box of puzzle pieces, uh, lots of pieces. Well, that box of puzzle pieces is sort of like um, a victim's life, okay? It's very difficult for them to look at the big picture and see the purpose in, in all those small pieces. And as children, that's what we were handed, a life in shambles, a life in pieces. And it didn't make any sense to us, and we couldn't make any sense of it. And then as we ventured off into adulthood, although we hit an age where we quite likely could have started making great choices for ourselves and taking responsibility for our life's direction and making everything wonderful um, now that we weren't under the rule of all the adults responsible for us. That's just not how life worked out for most of us. A lot of us went into adulthood and tried to fix that puzzle and make sense of that puzzle by shaking it up and dumping the pieces out in a different fashion. And then looking at it and thinking, no, this still doesn't make sense. And so we shook it up again and dumped it out on the table and mm, still doesn't make sense. So we probably went through a lot of our life doing things that way. But it didn't take us to the big picture, did it? And it didn't make things more clear. And so the only way, the only way to bring clarity into the life of an adult victim the only way to bring purpose to them by showing them the bigger picture is to actually take some time to examine each piece and to figure out where that piece fits in and why it belongs in the bigger picture. It's the only way to complete the puzzle. And that's a difficult process and it's a time-consuming process, but that's how, how Papillon Libre is designing its programs, is to assist in that process. Because we believe that if you do that alongside us and in camaraderie with other adult victims, that it will be something that makes sense more quickly. And, um, and then you always have something to check it against. It's like looking at the picture on the box. You can kind of see that you're on the right track if you've got something to look at, correct? But... But until you have that picture on the box, how do you know that you're heading in the right direction? It's really important for us to have people to, to uh, throw our ideas at or throw our thoughts to and to get feedback on. So Papillon Libre in 2012 is going to be launching its healing groups and its coaching specifically for that purpose. And for those of you who are in Lee County, Florida, where we're going to launch our founding programs... Um, then you'll be able to join our healing groups. If you're not in Lee County, you can still receive coaching from a distance. So if you want to find out more about either of those programs, you can contact me at fawn, F-A-W-M, at papillonlibre.org. That's fawn at papillonlibre.org, and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.